I'm going to talk to you about some of my favourite plugins and what these plugins do. I've got an account on WordPress.org and I've got a profile. And what I've done is I've, I've saved, if you look at this, you see that I've favourited the plugin, which means it goes into my favourite favorite list. And you'll see that that favourite thing is icon is on every single page. So I'm going to talk to you about some of the plugins that I that I like. Okay, Projects by WooThemes is a is relatively new plugin that allows you to to uh, manage projects that you've done. It can be any type of project. Um, so you can actually showcase some of the work that you've done in the past, whether it's uh, a design work, you know, whatever whatever field you're in. Um, Out seen by Woo plugins, uh, Woo Themes, sorry, which Woo Themes, by the way, creates some great plugins. Uh, most of them you have to pay for. Uh, a lot of them you have to pay for, and some of them you don't. Uh, our team is a free plugin from WooThemes, which allows you to um, have your, all your team members displayed on your website. Okay. Ultimate Recipe is a plugin that allows you to uh, create recipes on your website and have them displayed in this sort of format, which looks really cool. It's it's quite an intensive plugin, but it's a great plugin once you get into it. And you can buy the premium version of that one also, which which adds some great features. Uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast. This plugin allows you to, to uh, have a, automatically create a search engine optimization for all your articles, which are posts and pages. And it has it, it, all, it also has a manual override, so you can manually change the title, description, and keyword for the uh, for each post or page. A great plugin, massively popular as you can see, eight million downloads. Uh, they he, he has premium services as well. And you'll find that that's what happens a lot with, with developers of plugins. They offer a, a great plugin and then they add some extra features if you want to pay a small fee. Um, and it, with 8 million, 8 million downloads, he would only need a couple of hundred thousand people to make a very good living out of, uh, out of a plugin. Okay, so there's some, there's some great little plugins there. There's one here which, uh, which we've created, which is called Yakadanda Hangout Events. Uh, Google Plus Hangout Events, which allows you, you can see that we've update, we update this on a regular basis, uh, which allows you to have um, uh, display all your Google Plus events. So you create the events under your Google Plus account, and then this, this automatically feeds those events into your website, so you can display them on a page or in a widget on a sidebar. Okay, so uh, that, that's just a bit of an overview of some of my favorite uh, favorite. Uh, um, uh, plugins, and you can see them by going to my profile on, on WordPress. Um, there's another one here which is called Google Sitemaps, uh, Google XML Sitemaps, uh, which basically creates a sitemap, an XML sitemap of your site that submits it to Google and to other search engines to index your website. It's a great tool, um, and you, work, you use that in conjunction with uh, Google Webmaster Tools, which, are, which is very important. Okay, so that's a, an overview of some of my favorite plugins. Um, uh, you obviously will, will want your own plugins, uh, but some of these I think like XML sitemaps, WordPress SEO by Yoast are uh, pretty much the standard you need on every single website.